Deal sites can be very effective for marketing a 99 cent book. However, they can be even more effective if you schedule your promos in a certain sequence. To feature your book on a deal site, you need to visit the site and apply for a 99 cent promotion. To apply, you'll typically submit your book's link on Amazon in addition to some supporting information like your genre and a blurb. Then you choose an intended date for the promotion, usually within the next one to four weeks. This initial date pick gives the deal site a general idea of when you'd like your promo to run. Because of the non-guaranteed nature of these dates, you should not schedule your countdown deal within Amazon KDP prior to contacting deal sites. You want to contact the deal sites first, arrange your dates, then book your promo in Amazon KDP once you know what your date window is. After you apply for a promo on a deal site, within a few days, the site will let you know if you were selected, and if so, then give you your date. Once you're selected, you'll be asked to pay a fee for the promo. Typically, the more reach a site has for readers within your genre, the more expensive your promo will be. However, based on how much money you can bring in from this added exposure, often these deal site investments pay off really well. In general, deal sites with a lot of reach tend to be contacted by a lot of authors looking for promos, and because these sites only have limited space in their daily emails for each genre, they have to be pretty selective when choosing books to include. BookBub, the biggest deal site, is known to be extremely selective. Don't be discouraged if you don't get selected by BookBub on your first try. There are a lot of other great sites out there. Though not all of the selection criteria is publicly available, in general, sites pick books based on the quality of your cover, the quality of your description, the number of Amazon ratings you have, the average star rating, and the sentiment of your reviews. Do not feel obligated to do your cover and description yourself. A cover that isn't great and a book description that isn't great not only could prevent you from getting selected to deal sites, your sales conversion rate for visitors who come to your Amazon page can suffer as well. You should almost definitely hire a professional graphic designer for your cover. And if you're not comfortable with copywriting, hire a professional to write your book description as well. As for ratings and reviews, if you've written a good book, positive feedback should naturally come in. If you're self-publishing, I highly recommend you hire a professional editor to look over your manuscript before you publish your book. A book with a bunch of errors can definitely drag down your ratings. Here are 10 leading deal sites. In no way is this a list of every deal site available. You should definitely consider others too. Various sites specialize in certain genres. To find them, do a Google search for the name of your genre followed by book deal sites and see what comes up. You're gonna to wanna to look for sites that display some sort of a numerical indication of how large their reach is for your genre. Here's a reach sample from BookBub. You've got various categories on the left and then the minimum number of subscribers emailed if you were to run a promo within a corresponding category. As you can see, BookBub has a massive reach. Over one and a half million of its subscribers listed that they were interested in action and adventure books. Over two and a half million subscribers said they were interested in crime fiction and many other categories have a lot of readers as well. Once you visited various sites and checked out these numbers, you're gonna to wanna to rank the sites on how effective they may be for your book, regardless of the genre you write in. BookBub is almost certainly going to be number one on your list. However, with the other sites, there could be some variation based on genre. If you get approved for your number one site, that date becomes day five of your window. For example, if you contact BookBub first and get selected, whatever date BookBub provides would be day five of your promo window. 
you're going to want to aim for two scheduled promos on all five days of your window. When you apply for a deal on your second ranked site, go for the date you're confirmed on BookBub. Sites try to book you on your requested date. If they can't, usually they try to get you as close to that date as possible. If you happen to not be approved by your number two site, apply for that same date for site number three. Once you're accepted for two sites on day five, start applying for promos on day four. In this example, that would be the day prior to the date the book bub confirmed for you. Keep going down your list until you apply to all of the sites on it. Assuming you apply to 10 sites, you're selected for all 10 and all of your requested dates are accepted, your schedule through the window would look like this. On day one, you'd be going out to the sites with the smallest reach, nine and 10. The next few days, you'd be getting in front of more and more readers. And then finally on day five, you would be going out to BookBub and whatever your number two site is. With this dynamic, sales should be going up every day. If you're not accepted to a site or you are accepted to a site, but not on your requested date, your sequence isn't going to look exactly like this. That's completely fine. If you follow this approach, you'll get a general sales crescendo, which is all you need on day three. For instance, you may have a lot more deal site reach versus day four. Something like that isn't a huge deal, 